How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the fifth episode of the Random Ultimate Team series. We are now in Division 4 after getting promoted last uh, last episode. We bought a Malko Nautovic as our player of choice and we got Oscar and Kadira. This guy has a very nice team, got a BPL side, 4 one 2 one 2 Inform Podolski, Van Persie, Rooney, Tevez, uh, Yaya Toure, so a very good team. Kind of worried going into it but Oscar, quite early on in the game, putting it away nicely. And just settling our nerves because, um, as I say, he had a very good team. And we're getting to the point now where our team is its quite sort of developed. You know, it's quite good. We've got a lot of goal players in there. Chemistry is around high 60s, 70s. I think later on it'll be in like the sort of 80s, depending on what players we get. And uh, Mark Huth there, 13th minute, so not long after Oscar, putting it away very casually. Quite a nice little one two pass there with I think that was Natovic. And yeah, it was uh just kind of surprising to go two goals ahead this early on in the game. Oscar here is gonna have a shot. Surprised it didn't creep in the near post because that is just the near post shot is very powerful in this game. From the resulting corner, gonna get the ball, but unfortunately it drops to Bikei who, you know, isn't gonna have the best sort of shooting. I thought it might have creeped in because normally if they have a couple of players in the way you know, them shots will sort of go in sometimes, the little P-rollers. Uh, other end of the pitch here, kind of unlucky not to take it away from his player, but I probably should have went the other direction instead of fake shot. I probably should have passed him my key reaction and just let him boot it away. But Papadopoulos is going to take down Rooney, and Rooney is going to get the pen, and he's going to take it here. Not the greatest pen, but, you know, he, he sent me the wrong way and you know any pen that you score is considered a good pen whether you know it actually is or not and here he's going to do the the Jimmy Bullard telling off celebration which I thought was pretty funny I wasn't even mad when he uh, when he did it because a lot of celebrations are quite annoying but that one's always kind of funny to see I have to learn how to do that one actually uh, here Lee uh, I think it's Lee Wung or something like that has a shot just smashes it just past the uh, the left hand side which is unfortunate because if he got that goal the game would have been probably sealed at this point. Half time he's going to bring on Fernando Torres. I'm not really sure why because I think he took off Walcott for him or something. So he's not exactly, you know, swapping, you know, more pace or anything like that, but not really sure what he's doing. Here Podolski getting a rather fortunate goal. You know, the, those are the kind of goals that always seem to go in. The, you know, you try to clear it, it bounces off my player, falls straight to his, and then obviously, like, Inform Podolski is not going to miss from six yards out when he's got that much of the goal, uh, you know, open for him. But uh, a little bit later on, Marcus in the box, he's going to dance around a few players and sort of passed about four players there, which is kind of surprising. But the finesse shot does work pretty well in this game when the keeper's running out at you like that. And like I say, I'm surprised he managed to get that through both them uh, players there, like my player and his player. Here, I'm just going to switch my left back because he got injured and. It's quite late in the game, but I don't, you know, I don't really want, you know, to have to go and get a healing card or anything. Here, Kadir is going to run forward and score. You know, not the greatest goal, but still pretty decent. Nice little build-up player. As I say, he likes to uh, get forward. He just seems to get in like good positions. So, Anatovic and Oscar and Kadira all, you know, chipping in on the debut. Them two got goals, and Anatovic got, I think, two assists, maybe one assist. So, they all played well. Marcus again. You know, just showing us why he's, you know, still in the team, even though, like, you know, we could possibly have better players. But, let's say, he's just so good for a bronze. Probably the only bad thing about him is after playing with players like Oscar, Cruz, um, D'Alessandro that I get here, who all have, like, really good dribbling. He kind of lacks in the dribbling a bit, you know, he's a bit slow to turn and stuff like that. But other than that, you know, his finishing is really good. Decent in the air, and uh, you know his, his shooting just seems to be as good as anyone else's. It's kind of ridiculous how good he is. Here, I'm just gonna buy um, it's like the consumable pile upgrade. I figured, you know, I've got the uh, the coins for it. I might as well have it. I don't think we're anywhere near filling up the consumable pile, but let's say might as well have it. The coins are getting spent on everything else, and uh, I think I'm still two or three levels away from getting the coin boost, which is gonna be. You know, it's, it's going to be really helpful when we can get some of them because obviously we can get better players and then, you know, adding that to the, the money that we get from winning seasons and divisions and whatnot. Uh, here this guy's got a 3-5-2 team, very nice uh, 
you know, all English side. But unfortunately for him, his defence is very, very slow. And any time that I see John Terry or Rio Ferdinand on the, you know, on the team thing, I think to myself, I can exploit their lack of pace. And it's not even like my players are that quick because um, De La Sandra, I think, has about 70-odd pace. And Outovich has about 80, so, you know, they're not the quickest players, but, you know, they're not exactly slow. Here, uh, De La Sandra's going to take a free kick, and Reina pulls up a very nice save. Uh, he probably should have scored that chance earlier when he, you know, he finessed it. I, I don't know how he missed, you know, a player that level. I think he's got, like, decent shooting and whatnot. You know, he should be putting that away. Uh, but the free kick was a pretty good effort, and as I say, Reina did, you know, a nice save. Reina played really well in this game, actually. I don't normally rate him, but... You know, it's just one of the things where, you know, the keeper has the game of their life. I can't really complain because it happens to me sometimes where my keeper will just, uh, you know, save me. Uh, they're having a header, probably, you know, should have scored it, but, you know, not a lot I can do. I don't really choose where the headers go. I just, you know, time it right and whatnot. Rainer pulling up another good save. Couldn't get to the ball in time for the rebound, but here we're going to get a throw in. And uh, Oscar's going to dance around the box a little bit. Going past players, as I say, defence is quite slow. Pass it to an Arvich. He turns one shot to set it up, another shot to put in the back of the net. That was probably, you know, one of the, the more difficult goals or, like, chances that I had. But, yeah, Natovic is very good. And I thought that was a very nice goal, in my opinion, because, as I say, just, you know, turns, shoots, and it goes top corner. No chance for Raider there. Oscar here going to run past the defence again. And then Natovic so close to putting away the diving header. You know, it would have been good. To score any goal there because you know two two goals at like uh, this time in the game <coughs> would have completely killed it. But the diving header would have just you know been the you know the, the cherry on top of the cake there. But he had that one chance there. That was probably his best chance in the game because he you know he didn't really do too much. But we were sort of like just cancel each other out for most of the game, and uh, we win by one goal to nil. So we've won both games in this division now, and I think you need twelve points to get into the promotion place so you know we are you know we're looking good for it this guy here is not you know he's got some decent players in there but the chemistry some of the positions that he's playing his players like he's got Abidal at centre back he's got I'm not sure what the guy's name is but he's a CDM at right wing so you know he's not really going to be very good there but and now if it's 25 minutes in I thought this was a fantastic goal the way you know he chopped inside which is good and the angle there is just very, very sort of tight. He wasn't even looking at the goal. And, you know, the finesse shot on this game when the keeper's not running at you isn't very good. So I was very surprised that that went in. Uh, here, Lee Young Jay and Della Sandro are going to swap positions. And uh, he's going to dink a nice little ball in. Della Sandro, not the greatest in the air or anything, but, you know, when he's got that much space, it's pretty easy just to nod it home. So 2 0. Not too surprising, as I say, because this guy didn't have the greatest team or chemistry, but. You know, we'll uh, we'll take it. My keeper there making a sort of awkward save, but I guess he had to do it because there were guys at the back post. And here, Papadopoulos misses the tackle on Christian Teo. And Christian Teo has just got way too much pace for any of my defenders to handle. And he just uh, just slots it in nicely. So it's 2-1. I'm still feeling confident at this point. You know, we're only at half-time. And here, D'Alessandro using a little bit of skill and pace to get past his defence and gets taken out. And since he won the penalty, I'm going to put him on it. And normally these penalties here will work, but he put his keeper in the, like, the perfect position to save it. Because normally if you either stand down the middle or die for them penalties, your keeper won't get them. But uh, Anatovic puts us uh, even further ahead and just completely cancels out that missed penalty. Because now it's 3-1 and it's looking very comfortable for us. And even though it's 3-1, we are going to keep trying to get more goals, try and get... You know, an even bigger cushion, get some more coins and whatnot. And that was a that was a pretty decent goal, I thought. Here, he's gonna have a shot on goal. My defender blocks it thankfully, because I think that might have gone in. And uh, from the resulting corner, he's gonna cross it in. Defending not too good, didn't close him down too much. And uh, Thiago, very nice volley actually. That's one of them goals that I can't be too angry about because it it wasn't really too sloppy or anything. I said defending could have been a bit better, but it was a really nice volley that actually, so, you know, props to this guy. Here I'm going to catch him on the counter-attack, all my players running forward. And here, if you saw there, Anatovic made a really good run because he ran forward. 
and he waited a little bit. He sort of stuttered for a second to let um, Li Yongjie run forward, so he wouldn't be offside. I'm going to pass it across to him, and you know, not a great finish, but you know, it's his hat trick, and at this point, you know, it's game over. And we're in the 80, 89th minute here. I'm going to try another uh, another attempt on goal. Doesn't get uh, the first shot away, but Anatovic is going to smash it in the bottom corner, and now he's got four goals. And he is just a, an absolute monster, very underrated player, and as I say, for like 900 coins or whatever, absolute bargain. If you haven't played with him before, give him a go, he is fantastic. So it's 5-2 now, 90th minute, and Leroy Furs is going to add one more. Leroy Fur is actually a really good player as well, I think all of his stats are above 70, so he can, you know, he can play CDM or like Cam or centre mid, he can play anywhere in midfield really, so, you know, whatever you need him for, and also, you know, he's really cheap, so... Yeah, if you've never used him before and you want a cheap Dutch player, there's uh, there's your answer. So after that, I'm going to go on the mark. He got a decent amount of coins here. Going to get number five, which is Benucci, who uh, he's kind of like the Italian Papadopoulos. You know, he's got decent amount of pace and he's just like a beast in the air. He'll just win every header. So that's good for, as I say, for defending and for you know corners and set pieces and whatnot. So having them two in the team is going to be. Pretty ridiculous, and also because he's Italian, he'll link up with Bicchetti. But uh, that's how the team's looking now. Uh, Four-star team. Going to leave Mark Oof in there for a bit longer, because as I say, he's a beast. And probably switch out De Sandro for someone else when we get him. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.